And then I told a story about my ex cheating on me. And then I thought, let me put this on Facebook, see what it does. And I remember getting like a million views, yeah? And it went viral. I didn't really know how big they were. His heart is pure. I was bad in school. What did we get with the two pound? Two for two, of course. Oh, the Good two days. For the two. hustle was mad, though. The hustle was mad. And being known is what gives me anxiety. I don't think I really took in how poor we was. I was born in Colombia, and sadly enough, I don't know a lot about Colombia, but from what I do know, it's a happy place. Colombia's a mad, happy, vibrant place. Couple stray dogs on the road, you know how it gets. <laughs> when I think about my culture, I'm most proud of the vibe that the country gives off, the people have, and the food. My favorite Colombian dish would have to be sancocho. It's mad. <laughs> sancocho is a different level of soup. So I'm most proud of the fact that I was a refugee. I'm proud that I had struggle. Make sure you appreciate all the lit stuff a lot more. I don't think I really took in how poor we was. Like I remember we used to live in Ladywell, yeah? On top of Morley's. Man used to live on top of Morley's. If you ever saw my apartment now, <laughs> but it makes me so much more grateful. Do you get what I'm saying? To have my apartment because I've lived in like, the worst of the worst situations, like on top of Morley's. I beg you, take that one in. I think that went over everyone's head. Morley's. Did you get free chicken? I didn't. No, no, I didn't get free chicken. No, I didn't get no free chicken. In my first memory of Philly when uh, he was born, and I remember I went to the doctors. I said, I don't feel my baby, and they said, Maria, it's not your time. I want you to take my baby out. When he came out, he's very. His umbilical cord. Um, umbilical cord was in, all over his neck and he was purple. He couldn't breathe. And I will never forget because when I saw him breathing again, I was very grateful of Jesus. Faith is everything. God is so powerful. And we would not be here mm -hmm. where we are if it wasn't for God. Everything we do will always say, like, if God allows it, because it, our lives are in the hands of God and I think he's blessed us in more than one way. Mm -hmm. Talk to us a bit about that journey and, and as a mother. Well, it was... No, I don't want to talk about that. Okay, that's all right. That's okay. I'm oh, sorry. That's okay. It was really hard. Being a single mom with three little children, sometimes there is nothing to, to put on the table. And there was a point that he couldn't understand the the reason why I wasn't with his dad. So I had to send him back home. When he came back, he was like more mature, more like he, he appreciated me more. Do you understand? So he started growing, growing, growing. And now he realized that, that I did my best as a single mom. My mum's always knew that eventually she'd come out of the struggle she was in. But yeah, man, I'd say, I'd say God's had us our, our back always. Like, even when we didn't have a lot, we're still eating every day. Do you get what I'm saying? There's still blessings shining upon us. So, yeah, man, God. I was bad in school. I got four GCSEs, you know. Imagine that, yeah? I was going to results day and I knew my results were going to be knackered. Before I even open up the envelope, I'm laughing. I'm like, ah, <laughs> Like, I just knew it was going to be a joke thing, and it was. They got a screen with the menu on and show man what a man get. Okay. A hot dog. Don't eat pork, so I'm not having that. See, look. I know the pasta don't look wet no more. He's little dead, you know? <laughs> this is hard. I'd be gassed eating a little lunch here now. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is where we had our exams. We had the exams in this hall. It's that here, Vlad. Little exam and I'm just looking over the shoulder, stressed. I'd love to talk to the youths, the, all the students, and just say, yo, don't stress. Like, in no way, shape, or form am I saying you can just go out and be a YouTube star, and if this didn't go well for me, then I'd, I, don't, I don't know what I'd be doing. I know not everyone has, like, good experiences in school, but all glory to God, mine was good. So I'm not coming back here, like, thinking bad stuff. It's just nothing but positive stuff. Yeah, man, good. Some of the people that impacted me in school, I'll say my friends and the smart ones. So there's a lot of people in my school that are rolling with the wrong crowds, but then just like having a friend like Bruce made me realize what the right direction was to go in.
Blood. Yeah. Remember the times we used to flip in in school, yeah? Hustle the whole day to make two pound in total. And what did we get with the two pound? Two for two, of course. Oh, the Good two days. For the two. hustle was mad though. The hustle was mad. My life at school was okay because he was a year older than me. So he was like sort of like the older brother for me. I'll teach him the things I didn't know. He'll teach me the things I didn't know. So we just sort of got on like that just sort of helping each other where we could. I started telling stories about my dating experiences and I just titled it Sunday Stories. And then I told a story about my ex cheating on me and it went viral. I'd say like a hundred people on Snapchat. And then I woke up, I'm like, rah, 2,000 views on Snap. I'm going in. And then I thought, let me put this on Facebook, see what it does. And I remember getting like a million views, yeah? in like, I don't know, like two days or if not a day, no joke. I didn't really know how big they were until I heard someone when I was at uni talking about it and I was just like, hold on, what's going on? Then we just sort of spoke and I was like, bro, I don't think you realize how big this is. Ever since then, I just sort of got involved and started watching them on a weekly basis and I just found them hilarious because these are all things that I knew, the sort of spin on things, how he delivered it, what he did, it just made it so much more exciting hosted the FIFA 20 launch with Kaka and Ian Wright. The whole world was watching me with two legends. So for me now to be working with the company and like hosting this mad major event and just having these legends respect me as much as I respect them, that was a mad experience. How do I feel about social media? Has it had a positive impact or a negative on my social health? A bit of both, I suffer with anxiety. I recently like experienced panic attacks. It's made me known and being known is what gives me anxiety. But then social media has changed my whole life and made it so positive. There's beautiful sides to it, but then there's mad negative sides to it as well. And I just feel like you just gotta be careful who you follow. The advice I'd give to someone that might suffer with anxiety through social media is just go to therapy. Yeah, it's money, but through the NHS is free. Your waiting time's gonna be long, but how much do you care about your mental health? It's not about a balance on social media. These things are never gonna go away. Go and seek help. You have to visit it early before it gets a lot worse, if that makes sense. <laughs> retired by Bob, yeah, that's bad, isn't it? Bob lives a good life, you know. I'm 51 and he retired me. I used to work in this place where they were treating me like I was no one. And I remember Felipe telling me, Mom, I don't want you to work anymore. I'm gonna look after you. And now I'm working for him and he pays me well. I live my life. His heart is pure. So my cousin moved out to Panama. They took a picture of where they was worshiping and it was mad. Then I was just thinking to myself, I'm spending money on stuff that bring no value to me. Like the time on my watch is wrong. I don't care about the time. I just bought it because it's nice. I just realized I need to start putting my money into things that matter. And the church is one of them. I would say that my brother's legacy will be the one thing he lives by which is love and guidance. But ultimately he's actually found what he enjoys doing and making people happy in the process. I'm really proud of that, to be honest. And I want to be remembered for, for someone that was just always happy, vibrant, but most importantly themselves. <laughs>